on Cheryl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. This is going to be a love, relationship, situationship, or partnership read. Okay? However, you know, your love, life is going. Okay? And whatever you entitled it. Um, so remember that these messages can apply to your past, your present, or your future. Okay, guys? And with that being said, let's get to it. So we have the overall energy here of romance here. So that's what we're talking about today, your romance, the romance in your life here. Okay, now this is actually a rune symbolism here, the romance symbolism here, okay? Um, this speaks to love and relationships, deep emotional connections and bonds, soulmates, harmony, and passion, okay? The next message we have here is courage here, okay? I feel like somebody is having to step into some type of courage or use your type of, some type of courage or strength as it relates to your love life here, okay? Um, or, or romance coming into your life. I, I really feel like I'm speaking to somebody who's been alone or by themselves for a very long time. I feel like you've never really had passion love romance like that okay just because you've been in a relationship with somebody before or have had sex before it doesn't necessarily mean that you've had romance that you've had passion or that you have had true unconditional love okay so um somebody has been by themselves for quite some time here okay and somebody's going to have to use courage i feel the energy of both you and your person okay somebody is having to step into courage to come towards someone okay that they're attracted to or they like okay and you're gonna have to use courage in um to let down your barriers a little bit and trust a little bit um in order for this romance to come into your life okay to have this love this romance this um relationship okay this deep emotional connection and bond okay so at the bottom of the deck, we have sexuality here, okay? So um, your sexuality definitely plays a part in your romance here, as well as self-love, okay? So those are the messages at the bottom of the deck, guys, okay? So let's look at the overall energy here. So we have healing the heart chakra. I definitely feel like that you have been through so many things in your life that you had to... Um, You've endured a lot to where you had to heal your heart chakra, okay? Spirit is saying that you deserve love, okay? I, I feel like, uh, like I said, I you haven't experienced that love, that passion, that romance that you really desire to have, okay? And that's the reason why we have courage here as well. But Spirit is saying that you do have options, okay? We also have new love here. So there's definitely a new love that is getting ready to surface into your life. Okay, y'all are going to flirt. Okay, this talks about flirting, trust, passion, as well as chemistry. Okay. We have meet and greet. And we have a random unexpected partner by pure chance. Okay, so you may meet this person like randomly where you're out and about somewhere or what have you. Okay. So this is what's going on in reference to your romance. So let's clarify, guys, okay? So to clarify healing the heart chakra, like I said, I feel like you've had to take some time to heal, okay? Um, heal the wounds that you have um, from basically from things that you have endured, okay? Um, in previous relationships and things, okay? Um, I feel like your partner, if this is your soulmate that is coming into you, I feel like there is a lot that they have had to heal as well, okay? Um, but in the midst of you healing your heart chakra, you built a barrier around yourself to protect yourself from being hurt anymore, okay? This is the reason why you've been by yourself for so long because that trust factor is there. You don't trust 
anyone okay so where is it that you have gotten over the past you have healed from the past and different things like that you still have those barriers up that wall up and uh, you don't trust anyone okay so to clarify healing the heart chakra we have here life is too short to wait here this is a sun card here okay so this talks about um adventures second chances you striving for greatness okay this can speak to accomplishments abundance and y'all know abundance come in many different forms okay love is one of them okay um nonetheless you're doing what makes you happy okay um you're fulfilling your heart's desires or you're going to you're getting ready to start fulfilling your heart's desires um the sun talks about a brand new beginning finding love okay going after what you want okay um, or even finding happiness, okay? And so I definitely feel like that that's what's getting ready to take place um, in reference to your romance, to your love life, okay? To clarify, you deserve love. Spirit is saying, we have here, I am enough, okay? Stand by me, okay? I feel like um, all of your life, you've been trying to, you've been doing a lot to please and appease other people and it's just never... You know, people just treated you like you just wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, you wasn't ever quite good enough for persons because why? Those persons weren't wasn't in your life, which seems to amaze me because I hate it when people offer lies, okay? Most of the persons who have been in your life probably told you they love you, okay? But if you look around, you don't have those people today, which means they lied when they said that they loved you, okay? Um, but Spirit wants you to know that you are enough, okay? You don't have to beg or plead or bend over backwards for anyone to stand by you, okay? What's for you is for you and persons that's meant to be in your life, they will be in your life, okay? Some people come to your life for a reason and some other people come into your life for a season, okay? Which means that they're only there temporarily, but you live and you learn, okay? Never give up on yourself, never give up on life, okay? Because that's what the enemy wants, okay? Spirit is saying that you are worthy, okay? You are beautiful. You're handsome, okay? You do deserve love, okay? And you were specially created, okay? If nobody has ever told you or acknowledged such a thing, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you are a good person and um, you are very important, okay? You do deserve love, okay? And I feel like you're having, I feel like somebody gave up on love. Okay, gave up on the hope of finding love ever. And I feel like something, you probably still feel like that, okay? But something miraculous is about to happen or change that in some type of way. I know many of you who feel like that, who've been through a lot and have been by yourself for quite a while, you're like, mm hmm, yeah, okay, or whatever, which I totally feel you, <laughs> okay? Because I really kind of feel the same, okay? But, you know, when it comes to the Most High, when it comes to the universe, when it comes to uh, your spirit guides there are billions of people in the world okay you never know where you're gonna go what you're gonna be doing who you're gonna meet new or whatever coming into your life because this is someone new here I definitely matter of factly know you're not going back to nothing and nobody from your past okay but um someone new is coming in okay to to pique this romantic interest of yours here okay so to clarify, you have options. We have divine feminine woman here, okay? So spirit wants you to know that you're beautiful, you're strong-willed, you're strong-minded, you're open-minded, okay? You could be glamorous or generous, okay? You could be like to drink wine or have a shot or two every now and again, okay? You're someone who's smart, you're funny, you're outgoing, you're classy, you're affectionate, you're a good mother if you have children, you're loving, you're caring, and you're a creative type of woman. Spirit wants you to know that you do have options, okay? Don't give up on your life. Just because you haven't met the one, for you does not mean the one isn't out there okay so um keep an open mind in reference to you know your love life okay to clarify new love there is a manly man type of a guy who is going to come in and flirt with you okay this um i feel like the chemistry is going to be the attraction and the chemistry is going to be like mutual but this person um He has a beard and a mustache. He may have a beard and a mustache, okay? Um, he could have a head full of hair as well, okay? Um, but he dressed, he, he dressed decent, okay? He has his um, 
<laughs> he wears his pants up on his waist, okay? They're not sagging out of his butt or nothing like that, okay? When he has on the type of shirt that, that is meant to be tucked in, it's tucked in, okay? Um, type of a guy, okay? Um, he could be into lifting weights or he could just be muscular if he doesn't lift weights, okay? Um, he could like coffee or be a big coffee drinker or caffeine drinker, which means he likes coffees or teas or energy drinks or maybe even sodas. Here you see him pouring him a cup of coffee here, so it's probably coffee, okay? Um, he is a hard worker, okay? He's an outdoors type of guy. He do like to do things outdoors, okay? He is a beer kind of guy as well. He is strong. He will be able to protect you. This is a new love that's coming to your life, okay? And a glimpse at whom he is and what he looks like, okay? He's a hardworking man, though, okay? He could be a handsy man as well. He likes to do build things or create things or make things or fix things or something like that, okay? So to clarify, meet and greet, I definitely feel like you're going to be somewhere. You're going to meet this person. Um, there's going to be some type of meet and greet between you all, okay? So Spirit is saying stay true to yourself and your beliefs, okay? I feel like you and he are both, um, you know, one and the same when it comes to this, okay? Y'all are going to be 100% to yourselves, okay? But this card also speaks to hopes, wishes, and dreams. This speaks to your heart's desires, passions, fulfilling goals, creativity, um, doing what you love, having what you love, and different things like that, okay? Um, which is what I feel like is going to be in the air, in the atmosphere, when you all meet and greet with each other here, okay? So to clarify, a random unexpected partner by pure chance, we have here the lover's card here, okay? I definitely feel like opposites attract when it comes to you and um, this new love that's coming into your life, okay? There's some aspects to opposites attracting, in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. I do feel like you all coming together, you all will both be able to please each other to the fullest, okay? Your desires will be fulfilled with one another. This this feels like a soulmate couple or a twin flame couple, but there will definitely be a lot of romance, passion. Um, it almost feels like this couple is ordained to be together, like you all are being drawn to one another even though you don't know each other, okay? But you all could be coming together as one. This is going to be a divine connection of some kind, okay? When y'all are on that level, there definitely will be great lovemaking. And this can prove to be um, true and unconditional love coming in for you, okay? Because on this card, it also says every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite here, okay? So there's going to be something very special about you all's magnetic attraction, to one another okay guys so let's clarify spirit clarify healing the heart chakra with the sun healing the heart chakra with the sun okay i feel like you have been healing your heart chakra here but you've also been sitting in expectation just kind of waiting um around to see I just don't feel like you've met the person that you would like or you desire, okay? But you've been healing your heart chakra and you've been sitting in expectation alone um, throughout this and, you know, all this time that you've been by yourself. Spirit, clarify um, you deserve love. Whomever you are, you are a privileged lady or you could be stepping into a position of being a privileged lady. Spirit is telling you that you do deserve love. Spirit clarify, you have options. Okay, so we have the lover's card here. Divine Feminine Spirit is saying that you do have options um, as to for as to who, would you, who you would like to date, who you like to be with, what type of relationship would you would like here. It's up to you, but Spirit is saying that you do have options here. Okay? So, Spirit clarify, new love. Who is this new love? Whoever this new love is, is a mature man. You see how even on here, he has a beard and a mustache, a head full of hair. He's dressed decently, shirt tucked in, pants pull up on his waist, okay? Um, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, maybe he's a gentleman, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, but your new love is going to be a mature man, okay? Um, Spirit, clarify meet and greet. 
clarify me and greed. So we have the courtship card here, okay? So this person, after you all meet and greet and get to know each other, I definitely feel like this person is going to want to date you or go out on a date with you. So we clarify ransom unexpected partner by pure chance. Ransom unexpected partner by pure chance, okay? So we have change here as well as pathway, okay? I feel like both of you all may be traveling in a certain area, going to a certain area, visiting a certain place on a certain pathway, okay? And this sudden shift or change is going to come in when you all meet each other. It's random. It's unexpected. Neither you nor he will be expecting this day when you all meet each other. This is going to be a random, unexpected um, meeting with one another. Okay, guys? Uh, but thereafter, this person definitely will not be able to get you off of their mind here. Okay? Whomever you are, this main female, he's not going to be able to get you off his mind after you all meet, okay? Okay, Spirit, clarify um, healing the heart chakra with the sun and expectations. Healing the heart chakra with the sun and expectations. So we have melancholy here, okay? I feel like you've been very kind of sad and or depressed or feeling down as it relates to your love relationship. You see how she's just kind of sitting there lonely, just like she is on the expectation card here. Um, I feel like you've healed things from your past or whatever. You're like not dwelling on, you know, the shoulda, coulda, widows of the past or whatever. But at the same time, you know... I feel like you were in a position of just kind of giving up on love for the future. Okay, Spirit, clarify you deserve love. Clarify you deserve love. So whoever you are, you you're you're a young woman. So I feel like you could be in your twenties or your thirties. Okay. But Spirit is saying that you do deserve love. You are enough. Spirit, clarify you have options. There's a lot of pleasure seekers out there. So, you know, don't get wrapped up into the pleasure seekers who um, is likely only after you for one thing. Okay. To clarify, you have options. We have waiting here. So I feel like you're waiting for the right one. Like you've been there and done that when it's come to playing the field. Um, when it comes to, you know, living life on the edge, living carelessly and recklessly and, um, you know, doing a whole bunch of dating around or and this, that, and the other. You're just waiting for the right person. You know what I'm saying? You don't want all them extra miles in your pussy for no reason at all, okay? Um, why? Because if you should ever meet somebody one day who wants to marry you, you don't want that thing loose as a goose, okay? You got to have some grip back on that thing. Like, so I feel like you're just at the point now in life where you're like, you know what? Nah, I'm going to just wait <laughs> for, um, you know, a real love. Okay, so it's very clarify new love. Clarify new love. This person may come in. This person may come in like a friend. This person may be a veteran. They used to be military. This person may come in like a friend, okay? Like wanting to be your friend in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Spirit, clarify me and greet. Clarify me and greet. Me and greet. I think you're going to be very surprised. Like when you meet this person, I, th I think something is going to like surprise you when you meet this person or something like that or whatever, or you all may surprise each other in some type of way, but there's definitely going to be conversation between you all. So we clarify random unexpected partner by pure chance, random unexpected partner. By pure chance. I 
I definitely feel like I don't, both of you all are being seen as a sweetheart. You could be a sweetheart or this person is going to see you as a sweetheart or even you, they, you know, see them as a sweetheart. Here we have reunion here. So this person definitely like it's going to be so random. You know what I'm saying? Like this goes back to the surprise card here. You all's meeting is going to be like so random and unexpected. It's like going to kind of like surprise or shock you all. Like, you know, this is happening really type of thing or whatever. But this person, um, I feel like is going to like like you a lot we have the lovers card at the bottom of the deck y'all may like both really like each other spirit clarify healing the heart chakra so we have here make the effort spirit is telling you great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take here okay so if you really want love in your life I'm, i i i suppose you can't just be closed off you know from that Spirit, clarify you deserve love. Spirit is saying that it is safe for you to love, okay? Open your heart to give and, and receive the highest energy of all. So, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you have been closed off from love. Like, I feel like you've healed from the things that you need to heal from from the past. But you put up this barrier, barrier like this wall, to uh, keep yourself protected um, from being hurt again, okay? Or going through something unnecessary, unnecessarily spirit clarify you have options okay so spirit is telling you to keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual expectation your usual type or expectations but spirit is saying that you do have options okay so spirit clarify new love new love so spirit is saying that this new um, this new lover that's coming to your life is a past life relationship. This is somebody from your past life. Okay, you've known each other before. Okay, that's why it's like this. When this person comes into your life, it's going to be like an instant friendship or bond or something like that. There, you all have known each other before from a past lifetime. Okay. To clarify, meet and greet. We have chemistry here, so there's a strong magnetic um, attraction here between you all. When you all meet and greet, there's definitely going to be a strong magnetic um, attraction there. Okay. Spirit is saying that this could be your soulmate. This is also coming in very soon for you. And this is a new love. To clarify, ransom unexpected partner by pure chance. We have here a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. This is the reason why it's going to be like a shock. A surprise it's like what is this really happening right now <laughs> okay so we have here soulmate very soon and um give your um relationship a chance here at the bottom of the deck here okay so i definitely feel like this is your soulmate partner that is coming into you but it's like going to catch you and him like off guard because like neither one of you are going to be expecting this to happen now okay so, um, to clarify, new love, Spirit is saying a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? There's going to be a very strong magnetic attraction between you all, and you all have known each other before, okay? But for this divine feminine that I'm speaking to, I feel like you have been single for quite some time. You've been by yourself for quite some time. You have closed yourself off from, like, the world or from other persons to keep yourself from being hurt, okay? But Spirit is saying to make the effort. It is safe for you to love, okay? And for you to keep an open mind, okay? Okay, guys. Okay, so let's pull some, um, some tarot from the, um, sexual tarot deck and say what's, what else is going on here with y'all. Okay, Spirit, clarify, um, healing the heart chakra. So something is going to like, like you're going to get some type of sense of motivation and determination to like move forward in life, especially when it comes to love. Like something is going to like ignite the passion within you where, you know, it's like going to be on your, you know, on your mind that, Okay, you do want someone else here, okay? Yeah, there's definitely going to be 
passionate growth and movement forward. You taking action in your love life to, to actually make a difference in your love life, okay? So we're clarify you have options. Okay, so we have the lovers here. Okay, you definitely have options. I feel like with you having options, there could be more than one person who is interested in you, but Spirit is saying that you have options nonetheless. Okay, Spirit, clarify new love. Who is this new love that's coming into your life? Whoever this new love that's coming into your life is definitely going to be a, a successful connection here. We have the Six of Wands, okay, which talks about success, triumph, victory. Look at this guy. This person is like totally going to be into you, okay? And I feel like you're going to be loving it, okay? Spirit, clarify meet and greet. What is this meet and greet about? So we have temperance energy here. The temperance energy, like it, it, it speaks to faith. Um, it speaks to 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 purity, honesty. There's something just very angelic about you, or either he, okay, or maybe even the both of you. There's something that's like divine or pure or some type of innocence that has to do with you all coming together the way you're going to meet okay how you're going to hit it off okay the way you're going to begin your love how your love story is going to begin okay yeah it's emotional fulfillment this meet and greet is definitely going to bring you emotional fulfillment okay so we have the empress here on a ransom unexpected partner by pure chance okay you are the empress here. You could be a mother or a mother figure. I feel like with the high priestess here, you could be very intuitive. You could be naturally psychic. You intuitively know that that something or someone is coming. Okay, so, so you know, I feel like inside you know that there's some type of shift. There's some type of change. That something is coming, okay, or someone is coming, okay. But we also have here the sun, okay? So this random unexpected partner by Pure Trans is definitely going to bring about some type of happiness, abundance, new beginning, okay? Very, um, a lot of passion, romance, a lot of chemistry. It's just you and, and this other person. You see, in every one of these cards, you know, it's not like no extra shit. You got someone on the side. He got somebody on the side. It's just you and him, okay? It's just you and him. Okay, on every one of these. It's just you and him, okay? You see that in every, every, um, every card. I feel like you're a hermit, though. You or he may be a hermit, okay? You're pretty, um, closed off or to yourself. Say to yourself a lot or by yourself a lot, okay? That may be something that attracts the two of you to each other. So here, what's the overall energy for this reading? This person is definitely going to, to make some type of offer, or give you some type of offer. I feel like with this four of cups here, this may just be to, you know, like, and see, even it's just you and them here. Wherever y'all are, wherever you're going to meet, like this person, I feel like it's going to make it very clear that they're attracted to you. They like you. They're going to ask to take you out or, you know, can I get you a cup of coffee? Can we go have lunch? Like, you know, whatever um, y'all are into, whatever you do here, okay? Regardless, Spirit is telling you to never give up, okay? Never give up on your hopes, wishes, dreams, okay? But most importantly, yourself or greatness here. Don't give up on love, okay? Is what Spirit is telling you, Okay? So let's see what's going on. What else is going on, Spirit? Healing the heart chakra. Healing the heart chakra. So I feel like you're stepping into some type of material and spiritual prosperity, which is which is what I feel like is giving you the motivation and determination that boost that feel good within you to maybe kind of um, be open to socializing or dating or something like that okay
Okay. So Spirit is saying that prosperity begins here, okay? So I definitely feel like there's definitely something prosperous that is, is coming in for you. But because of the fact that you have options, I feel like there could be... Somebody has a, somebody has men and women attracted to them, okay? There's a divine feminine who has both men and women attracted to them, okay? Spirit is telling you to choose wisely, okay? Because you have options, okay? Spirit, clarify new love. Clarify new love. Okay, so we have fulfillment of wishes here. Okay, whoever this new love that's coming into your life, it's not going to matter what all the other options are because I feel like you may go with that person here. There's going to be a fulfillment of wishes. Okay, yeah. Okay, and after you all said me and greet here, love is going to begin between you all. This is just like the energy of that temperance card that was there. If you look at temperance here, okay. You see how she's pouring that water? You usually see this uh, this angelic, like this person that looks like an angel with wings and they're pouring um, water, which y'all know water is life. It's pure. It's natural. Okay. Into another deal. Well, this is just the sexual terror. So she's doing the same thing here, but you see that also here where it says love begins here. Okay. So there's definitely something harmonious that is coming in for you okay something that is going to bring balance okay yeah new beginnings as well y'all your relationship is going to be a triumphant success okay spirit are there any other messages as it relates to this love reading yeah something remember i told you your passion is going to be ignited something is this person is going to ignite the passion within you honey and maybe you haven't felt i don't feel like i don't feel like you have felt that in a long time here we also have harmony harmony here okay so there's just going to be this harmonious connection between you all okay i definitely feel like this could be a soulmate or a twin flame here um, that's coming into you but you all definitely this is definitely a past life lover this is somebody who was in your life in a past life okay who's coming back into your life okay whoever is resonating with this message you spend a lot of time in solitude you spend a lot of time by yourself okay or maybe this person do too the universe is stepping in to help you okay with this so, okay Okay, guys. Okay, Spirit, can you please clarify? So we have yin here, okay? Y'all are just going to flow very easily, very passionately. You see, this is number two. So this is the both of you all, okay? Very good energy that you all are going to have with each other, that yin energy, okay? Everything that's right, everything that feels good. Okay, everything that naturally flows together. Yeah, we have blessed here. So you're definitely, this relationship is definitely blessed by the most high. And we have here loyal heart. So this person would be loyal to you. You will be loyal to this person as well. Okay. Okay, Spirit, clarify. What other messages do we need to know? pertaining to this love reading what other messages pertaining to this love reading so we have here moving forward okay so spirit is telling you to get ready for a great change in your life or a good change in your life okay please give us more messages to clarify this romance any other messages to clarify this romance so we have angel of miracles here okay there's something very there's a miracle that's about to happen in your life okay I don't feel like you see this coming. He see this coming. Okay. I feel like both of you all have been in hermit mode. You, you, you've been, in, you know, in solitude, just kind of by yourself, 
to yourself, okay? Not even really even thinking about love, worried about love. You probably, like I said, gave up at one point in time, gave up on love and just didn't think, you know, you were one of the lucky ones to have love or romance, okay? Um, but anyway, Spirit is telling you with Angel of Miracles here, Spirit is saying to open your heart and expect a miracle, okay? What other messages, Spirit? One more message. So we have celebration here, okay? I definitely feel like y'all are going to just kind of click, clack, get along together well. Um, y'all are going to rejoice together well. Spirit is saying let go and have fun, okay? So y'all are going to let go and have fun with each other. We have creative wonderment at the bottom of the deck here. So Spirit is telling you to follow your passion, okay? And last but not least, guys, let's get you on some Archangel messages. Okay, Spirit. So, please give us clear and accurate messages for this romance reading. So Spirit is telling you to um, that everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining here, okay? So we have here the Nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the, the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels here. I definitely feel like somebody has, I don't know, you've been feeling very down or regretful or something in some type of way because of your, I don't know, wait, what, something from your past or relationships, that, you know, being hurt or something like that. But this is the second card that says something about regret. Like, you shouldn't be regretting anything or feeling guilt or worried about anything, okay? You need to release all of that, okay? You didn't do anything wrong, um, especially when, when if others hurt you, okay, in a situation, okay? Obviously, you and whoever you were with before, y'all were not supposed to be together or you would still be together, okay? Obviously, this person didn't love you the way you wanted to be loved or should have been loved or what have you, okay? So... There shouldn't be, or maybe, I feel like maybe you've just been feeling like this because you've been single and by yourself for so long, okay? Because people do that too, do a lot of going back and forth in their head, you know, after a breakup and, and you know, being by yourself for so long and then when that, that something seeks in and it's like, oh my God, I'm going to be by myself for the rest of my life and maybe I should have just stayed in the bad relationship just to say I had somebody, just to feel like, I, you know, I'm with someone or whatever, but no, release that, release that, okay? Which is another reason why I feel like you built up this barrier to protect your heart, um, to keep you from getting hurt again, but release that, okay? It's bullshit. So with the two of Michael here, Spirit is telling you that things will be, uh, will get better if you just make a decision, okay? Don't overlize anything, okay? Find a compromise, Give us, um, clarify this romance. Clarify this romance. Nobody is dwelling on the past. What are these messages? Okay. Because I feel like for somebody, you could have been dwelling on the past or stuck in the past. It's bullshit. I don't even like those messages. Okay. Get over that. You shouldn't have any regret or, or, I mean, not unless you were the person who did something to hurt somebody in your past relationship. But either way it go. Even still, you shouldn't be stuck in that, okay? Especially it's been years upon years that you haven't even been with a person. Like, let it go. Cut it off, okay? Admit it, quit it, forget it. Loose, release it, let it go. Cut it off. It's done, okay? We have peace here. Look, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Yeah, these messages are here, like, for, for some, I, you know, is this for 
the masculine or the feminine in this relationship. Y'all are coming together. Y'all have been by yourself. Somebody has been by themselves. I feel like this feminine has been by themselves for years. Okay? You've been by yourself for years. There shouldn't be any regret. Okay? That's why spirit is telling you to embrace the opportunities for happiness. Okay? That's coming into your life. Like, worry is unnecessary, okay? There's no, no reason for you to have feelings of regret or guilt or worry or anything, okay? I would not sit in that energy. I know I wouldn't. Release your past if you have not released your past. Period, point blank, okay? Period. So we have the High Priestess here. This comes from Archangel Hanel. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Okay? This, I, I literally, this like kind of pisses me off. I just like totally want to do away with this because I feel like some negative energy from your damn past. Is trying to like creep in your life like don't be surprised either okay when you meet this new person your ex may try to pop up in your life and this is bullshit this is bullshit there is not not any cart here somebody has been by themselves for years nothing nobody by yourself nobody's dwelling on the damn past that obviously didn't want you and didn't love you in the first damn place, okay? Like, what the hell is that? For somebody, your ex is going to try, your past is going to try to pop back up when you meet someone new. This person ain't been, ain't gave a damn about you. But as soon as they get word that you done met someone new, see you and this new person, see your kids back here playing together, this person's going to pop the hell up. Bullshit. Get the hell up out of here. Spirit is telling you to um, that love and blessings are, are going to fill your life. Harmonious relationships um, and a happily ever after. Okay? This is pissing me off. That person like literally just slick tried to creep in here to like damper this first of all you need to understand something that's how i know that this is energy from your ex energy from your past okay and it's bullshit because this would not be coming in for you if you had not healed and got over the fucking past even though i know you have kept you you built up these barriers to protect yourself from being hurt anymore you ain't dwelling on this shit okay that's your past trying to creep back in. Oh, remember me. Think about me. Be sad over me. Come back to me. Draw yourself back to me. I'm going to bind myself to you. No, the fuck you're not. You're going to cease and desist up in here. Okay? New love is coming into your life. Okay? So, nine of Ariel here. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Okay? That's more like it. I don't know what that shit is. Yeah, like I said, new beginnings are coming in for you. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Like, get over, like, dude, if the past try to come back up in here, I kid you not, bro. Mark my words, okay? I kid you not. When this come, if whoever this is for, when you meet this new person, y'all are going to hit it off so good. Okay, and all of a sudden somebody from your past going to pop back up like they just loved you. They've been thinking about you. They want you. They might even try to act a fool because you got a new person. This person ain't been nowhere around. They ain't not doing a damn thing for you or any damn thing. And all the people that they was sucking and fucking, you had nothing to do with. You weren't interfering with their life. But I tell you, I'm telling I kid you not. Somebody has been single and by themselves for several years you ain't seen this ex you ain't heard from this ex this ex don't care nothing about you they didn't care nothing about you when they was with you they didn't love you they probably was a whole ass fucking op who was probably paid to be with you in the first damn place 
who links up with other damn people to hurt you in some type of damn way, watch their ass try to pop up when you meet the one. Get the hell up out of here. We have the nine of Raphael. Spirit is saying, make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. Okay? Okay, we got the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is telling you to make choices from the heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love, okay? That's what's coming in for you. Not this bullshit past that's trying to creep back in here. You, there's no reason for you to be feeling sadness or, or regret or guilt or worry about nothing and nobody from your damn past who clearly didn't appreciate you, didn't love you, wasn't loyal to you, okay? Didn't want you. Especially if they teamed up with other damn people to work against you. Especially if they could not protect you. Especially if they did things to hurt you. Especially if they was jealous of you. Shortchanged you and didn't want you to have anything because they was too busy trying to be better than you. While belittling you and stabbing you in your damn back. Ain't nobody stuck in the past. Move around with that. I thank you all for listening. I thank you all for watching. That just smooth pissed me off, okay? Somebody's past want to creep back in. You know what I'm saying? How you forcibly implant yourself on somebody's mind? Somebody ex probably around here doing love spells and different shit. If you been um, randomly having thoughts or dreams about your ex or some shit, they're doing love spells on you binding spells on you trying to keep uh, pulling off of your energy trying to keep you binded and connected to them trying to draw you back into them okay you bet not call them you bet not text them because that's what they want they're trying to forcibly make you come drive by and see what they doing where they at call them all of a sudden text them all of a sudden they're doing some type of spell work some type of love spells or some type of shit this person don't be more care about you than the man on the moon they want to sabotage and ruin your damn life They probably shortchanged you. wasn't a good, didn't want to uh, 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 wasn't a good provider. Didn't show you no passion, no love, no romance. Probably didn't even take you out on a damn date. Show you off, pamper you, spoil you, any goddamn thing. Couldn't protect you from harm for any damn body else. Never had your back. Always click clack with 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 some damn body else. Any damn body better than you. Chose other damn people who was the enemy over the fuck you. Whether it was their friends, their family, or, or, or random associates or anybody else. So let them have that shit. They need to stay up out your life. Because they weren't for you to begin with. Period. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for watching. Um, if you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Um, you can also uh, locate me on Facebook, which is Tiffany Letish Diamond Ziegler. Um, if you would prefer some adult content and dialogue, you can find me on OnlyFans, which is OnlyFans.com slash Madam Luscious Diamonds with an underscore between each word. You all can follow me on Instagram, which is Shine Bright Like a Diamond 36 with an underscore between each word. For any persons who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.